Today we're headed to the pyramids of Teotihuacan yes. near Mexico City. Uh, I've been told to listen to how much the driver talks, so I'm just filming this intro before we meet the driver. Hay una gran cosa que la gente llega y como yo trabajo mucho en el aeropuerto, hay mucha gente que llega y te dicen extranjeros, se suben y te dicen, oye, sabes qué onda, fíjate que pues vengo de vacaciones, me gustaría conocer. ¿Tú qué nos recomiendas? Traemos tantos días. Queremos conocer de lo más bonito de aquí de México. Ok. Me han llegado a contratar. El primer lugar que debes de decirle a las personas cuando no conocen es Teotihuacán. Es un lugar mágico ahí. De Teotihuacán, muchos, la gente que es muy devoto, católica, pasan a la villa. A donde está la Virgen de Guadalupe, a la iglesia de la Villita. Porque yo pido, yo les aconsejo. Well, we arrived at uh, Teotihuacan. Um, taxi driver was quite talkative, very interesting chat for the hour and a half while we were with him. And uh, there's instantly some tour guides who tried to sell us some tours. We had a bit of a chat. Uh, my mum's feeling a little bit ill after getting food poisoning a few days ago. I myself. I'm not fully recovered either, so we decided to, to not go ahead with it. I am, however, going to try to climb to the top of the pyramid that's right in front of us. It's a terrible idea, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, that wasn't the pyramid, that was just the steps to get to the pyramid. So here's my plan. I'm getting ready to climb to the top of this guy. La Pirámide del Sol. It's the Pyramid of the Sun. But I'm not going to be filming myself while I'm going up the stairs. I might give a bit of running commentary as I get to each of the, the platforms as I go up because it is uh, quite a tiring climb. Uh, but before I, I do start, we're about 2,200 meters above sea level and as I've mentioned before, the air is a lot thinner and it wasn't until about a day or two in that I realized I've been getting very tired, very tired very quickly. Uh, I'm someone who walks a lot and so it was really unusual. I thought it might have been jet lag or lack of sleep but I have no jet lag because we're in the same time zone and I've been sleeping quite well and I think it is the altitude it's amazing how quickly it hits you because you don't realize you don't realize immediately it's after you walk and spend the day out that you just get really really tired so I am a little bit more tired than normal and I have been ill in the last couple of days this is apparently the easy bit steps are still quite large they get smaller as you get higher up Second platform break might give you a little bit of a idea of what all this is about. So this is the pyramid of the sun that I'm trying to, to climb. I'm not sure exactly when it was built, but Teotihuacan, the city, ah! was abandoned in the year 500 and it had two big pyramids. The other one is just over there. It's the pyramid of the moon. Those are both modern names. We don't know what the natives called them because they abandoned this city. 1500 years ago and then in the year 1200 the Aztecs arrived in Mexico City what they called Tenochtitlan about mm, 50 kilometers from here I think roughly don't quote me and they discovered this city uh, a few hundred years later the Spanish arrived conquered Tenochtitlan turned it into Mexico City this remains now an abandoned city so remember this is not an Aztec site it's a Tenoch Sorry, the Aztecs lived in Tenochtitlan. This is Teotihuacan. They're close to each other, but there's 700 years of abandonment between each one. And with that, it's time to climb some more steps. All right, platform three. And from up here, the view starts to look pretty good. But I'm also getting 
a little bit tired. I need some sustenance. Uh, Hema, the um, friend of ours who we're staying with, has recommended, because I got food poisoning, probably from all the Mexican food, spent a few hours projectile vomiting at about 4 or 5 a.m. a few nights ago. Had a bit of a fever, was dehydrated, very weak. Surprised I can actually climb this. Well, she recommended that what I need is Snickers and Curacola. So, unfortunately, I need to take one for the team and have some chocolate and soft drink before continuing on up. Uh, uh, these steps are starting to get a little smaller than before. Particularly in the steep sections. But I'm almost at the top. Oh no, what looked like the top is almost, almost the top, but not quite. Ah. Okay, so I've made it to virtually the top. That's, that's the very top right there. I'm walking around. This is the, the highest, I think, platform you can get to on this uh, Pyramid of the Sun. Now, as, as I understand it, uh, Teotihuacan means city of the gods. Um, in particular, the god Quetzalcoatl is a sort of serpent, some hybrid with some other animal god, the god of life. Um, and the reason that this city is here is because you can find obsidian here. Obsidian is volcanic glass. So keep in mind that Mesoamerica, particular pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica, was a Stone Age civilization. They didn't have access to, to metals uh, in the way that European or Asian civilizations did. And therefore, obsidian, really hard glass, was the closest thing they had to metals for making tools, like knives for cutting meat uh, or making weapons. And so this was a great economic powerhouse and that's why they were able to build pyramids like this one, the Pyramid of the Sun. But also behind me, the smaller Pyramid of the Moon. Again, we don't know if those were the actual names that the Teotihuacans gave them. But this, the Pyramid of the Sun, is the third tallest pyramid in the world. And I am about to head up to the very top. I gotta head down. <laughs> and I not only made it down safely, but I got past all the merchants, which arguably was a little bit harder. But not as tiring. I need a rest. So I'm out. <laughs> That's it.